but also amongst the first in dealing with cybercrime, white collar offenses, uh, at the same time various security systems and even com police communications, AP states was known. As well as innovations and technology adoption, we were among the forefront. Andhra Pradesh police was a role model for all others uh, to adopt, emulate and replicate. And with that, that's the kind of legacy that we carry with us and we are very proud of that, sir. The profile of AP police as we stand poised on the ground, uh, the strength 73,366, we have 12,368 home guards, 989 police station, 195 circles, 90 subdivisions, police districts 16, two commissionerates, and five rangers, and we have eight special armed police battalions. Now, as regards the duties and responsibility of the police, there are a lot of expectations, uh, and these are the few duties and responsibilities amongst the many that we have uh, listed out. Protect life, liberty, property of human rights and dignity, prevent and detain crimes, enforce and uphold rule of law, promote and preserve public order, protect internal security, intervene during disaster and distress, manage traffic on the roads and highways, amongst many. Now, we are all aware that uh, the primary responsibility of the police, other than individual to the individuals, uh, is maintaining law and order in the society. And we are also aware that uh, law and order, peace and stability is absolutely essential for progress and development in any society. So therefore, uh, we look at those concerns in the state of Andhra Pradesh that exists before us, which we police of Andhra Pradesh need to tackle and deal with to provide a stable atmosphere for the state to progress and develop. And they have listed out left-wing extremism, caste and communal conflicts, social vices and organized crime, development and related displacements, security of VIPs and installation, facts, factions and political unrest. All of them have potential to disrupt and cause disturbances. If you look at the left-wing extremism, uh, we have uh, the, the sway over five districts, uh, traditionally on the Andhra-Orissa border, and also with the recent areas of Chintur uh, subdivision coming in, uh, bordering Chhattisgarh. Now, apart from these five conventional interior areas, we also have issues about frontal and mass organization, which exists in urban centers, uh, in mostly all over the state, starting from Tirupati, whether it's Guntur, Nellore, uh, Karnul, uh, Vijayawada, uh, or Eluru, Rajamandri, Vishakapatnam, Srikakulam, all over the state, uh, we, we see the activities of frontal and mass organization. Uh, we, we are aware that left-wing extremists generally look for issues to engage, issues to mobilize, organize and uh, the masses and veer them towards agitational politics. And the issues are very many. Some of them have been listed out. Some of the issues have been listed out, but they are not all uh, encompassing because issues keep emerging and they'll keep looking for opportunities to engage and involve in issues uh, and around which they would like to uh, create awareness, uh, generate uh, interest of the masses, mobilize them, organize them, and then lead them, veer them towards agitational politics and thereby create disturbances in the society. Uh, their methodologies, uh, the actions we have listed out, eliminate political and other targets, attack security forces, obstruct developmental activities. Um, they also deploy action teams for very pointed actions. Now all these activities, the whole, the, the objective is to usher in new democratic revolution and seize state power. So this is always a lurking danger that we always have. And we, all, we are also aware the capacity uh, which the left-wing extremists, particularly the Maoists, have in creating terror in the state. So therefore, it always needs 
police to be in our toes and be alert and constantly be one step ahead of them. And sir, Andhra Pradesh police, we have a, again a legacy of uh, being on the forefront in dealing with this left-wing extremism. Uh, on the other hand, if you see, look at the most violence, there has been a decreasing trend. Um, some uh, sporadic incidents here and there, uh, whenever they need to really uh, show their existence or inflict some kind of a uh, damage to the state, they keep on indulging. Uh, 